I think whoever designed these just hates me. <laughs> St. Paul is the epitome of a person who believed and therefore spoke. We find that he comes to faith and he goes forth, surrendering everything from his life to go forth and proclaim the gospel. But what he says to the people in his letter today is not simply that I believed and therefore I speak, but that we all come to that. That by the very nature of our faith, we are called to be people who believe, but also people who speak our faith. We, as Catholics, often find that we try to live our life by great example, to be the example of faith, and that's very important. But we also find that it's necessary to give witness to our faith by words. And often we're a little shy on that. I think there's a number of reasons for that. For one, historically, Catholics in the United States were considered quite suspect. And so we sort of lived our lives below the screen, so to speak, to uh, not have problems with things. But secondly, I think we're often very concerned that what we say be accurate, and that's a good thing and an important thing. But a third thing, I think, is we've heard this saying attributed to St. Francis, preach the gospel, use words if necessary. Actually, St. Francis never said that. There's no evidence he ever said that. The first time it appears attributed to him is in the late 19th century, about 600, 700 years after he had lived. And he himself was a preacher, a preacher out there proclaiming the word of God. Now, the way he came, that what people look at and say, well, maybe this is where the saying came from. In his writings, he mentions he and another friar, another brother, not a chicken friar, but a brother friar, are going to this place to preach, and the friar was quite concerned that he said, what if they don't accept what we say? And he says, then we preach by our actions. That's different than saying, preach by your actions and use words if necessary. Actually, both work together, though, because in our lives, what we say must be backed up by our actions. One of the good things about our country is we are often looking at what people say and say, does this correspond to how they live their life? They say they believe this or that, but do their actions support that? And that is a good quality to have, to look for integrity in what goes on. But the question then we might ask ourselves is, what does it mean to speak what we believe? And I think that when we look at that, there's several things we need to look at. Number one, we have to use wisdom in the situation we're in to say, is it wise to speak here? Not wise in the sense of, well, they might not like me or whatever, but wise in the sense of, is it appropriate that what I say here and now is good? Secondly, we need to look and say, in the wisdom, how do I say it? Not just am I articulating the faith accurately, which is important, but do I say it in a way that sounds judgmental? Do I say it in a way of you better think like I think? Do I say it in a way that is argumentative and that is looking to say I'm here to prove you wrong? The third thing we need to do is not go at this like a street pre preacher high on speed and be in everyone's face about our faith but rather, as we hear St. Paul say in one of his letters, be ready to defend the faith, to speak the faith, but in ways, we are to do that in ways that are peaceable, in ways that we look at and say, how do I say this as an invitation to someone? Or how do I say this in a way that says, this is why I do what I do? You know, if we are suffering and sick, we can say, oh, I feel terrible, I'm all this. And we can look, though, and say, but I offer it to God because God has been good to me. We can look at our good fortune and say, wow, I am so lucky, or wow, I've worked so hard to have this or that. Or we can say, God has blessed me with what I have, and I am grateful for that.
We can look and say that we believe certain things are right or certain things are wrong because of our faith. That doesn't mean that we have to be in people's faith saying, you are wrong, you're doing this, but give witness to why we do what we do. For each of us, how we do that depends on our personality. And it's not something that I say, today you leave church and you be there and ready to do that. Some people of, among us always probably do that in a good and healthy way. But that we might begin to look and say in our reflection on our life, where can I give witness to my faith? Where can I speak of my belief in God, in the love of God, in the salvation we have in Christ, in ways that bring it to light? Just as we might say, I bring to light I'm a Bengals fan, or I bring to light I'm a Reds fan, or whatever like that. May we be people who nourish by the word of God we hear to believe, and nourished by the Eucharist we receive from this altar to believe. Be people who come to speak because we have believed and to back up that speech by our actions, which are formed by what we have come to believe.